trills. That's the uh, particular ornament I was using in that melody. That's the topic of this flute cast. It's a very simple ornament done by one or two fingers going between two notes repeatedly. Uh, and so try that, and the way I do all these ornaments is to try it on each of the positions that I'm going to play it. So if I were to do a trill on the bottom note, if you have trouble, if you feel that you're not getting it smoothly, then do it slower. We'll go up the scale. Do it even slower. I'll actually do it with this finger as well. This is the kind of the unloved finger, the finger that never comes off, but I'll keep the top four fingers down and then I'll trill with the third hole from the top. Move up the scale. You can see I'm actually more facile doing it with the top finger than I am the middle finger. How do we use this? Well, one of the ways I use it, and it's a, it's a bit of a trick, uh, especially if I'm playing with other musicians and I'm not sure what key I'm in. I'm not sure if I have the right key. I'm not sure if I simply hold a long note if it's going to work. So I'll trill, and I'll often trill with the two bottom notes, right? And I can trill softly and get louder and see how I fit into the music. And that's kind of an unusual feel to it. It gives a bit of a nature feel. It gives a bit of an enigmatic feel. You can even trill with all three. But I like the bottom two. You can even push the flute to the point where it breaks and bring it back, and it will uh, respond much more easily than holding a long tone. So. That's the trill ornament, and as with all ornaments, I play them lots and lots and lots for a week or two, really wear them out, and then forget about them, and they'll just come right up in my music whenever I want.